Yeah, this review is a month early, but it's a movie I've been anticipating like crazy. I got a chance to go to a advanced screening for it. So let's talk about this movie. Kingsman, The Secret Service. All right, so Kingsman, The Secret Service is a movie that's directed by Matthew Vaughn. He directed X-Men First Class and Kick-Ass, otherwise known as the awesome movies. And uh, it's it's based on this Mark Miller uh, graphic novel, which I've actually never read. I'm a huge Mark M Mark Miller fan. You know, he wrote he wrote Kick Ass, he wrote Wanted, he wrote Civil War. He's written just some of my favorite stories, but this is one of the stories I haven't read from him. But after seeing this movie, I want to check this story out. So Kingsman is a story about this kid who's he's this kid he's he's this kid who's who's like in, lives in this working class. Um, this working class environment, but he, and he, but he's uh, he's given his life up to drugs and crime and all that stuff. And one day he gets arrested, and Colin Firth is the one who bails him out and tells him that his father was a Kingsman. And what the Kingsmen are, are these they they are these uh, secret agents that no one has ever heard of. And his and uh, this kid's um, father was Colin Firth's partner, and Colin Firth offers this kid the opportunity to become a Kingsman. All the while, Samuel L. Jackson is the bad guy, and he wants to destroy the world because he's a spy movie villain. And in spy movie, spy movie villain, in the spy movie villain textbooks, the villain has to take over the world for no apparent reason whatsoever. I was looking forward to this movie like crazy. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of Matthew Vaughn. I love the story. I love the cast and so forth. And I was really looking forward to it. And did I enjoy this movie? Yep, I did. This movie is fun, man. It's it's bloody. It's it's hilarious. It's out of control. It is classic Matthew Vaughn, Mark Miller in the best way possible. It's like you remember in the early two thousands how you had movies like Agent Cody Banks, Spy Kids, and Catch That Kid. There are movies about these kids who are trying to be spies, but the problem with those movies is that those movies really didn't do a good job at making those kids relatable and it pandered too much to the families. This movie does the complete opposite. It makes these kid makes these kids relatable, and it, and it, but at the same time it doesn't pander to the families. This movie is is our is hardcore our rated that's what i'm gonna say it's it totally earns its rating the surprising thing about kingsman is i kind of thought the whole that like half of the movie would be about okay they're gonna train him to be this agent and then the other half would be him trying to fight sam jackson it's not like that it's like the majority of this movie is him learning how to be kingsman it's not until like the last 20 or 30 minutes where the where he's actually got to fight sam jackson that was that was pretty interesting to me i i um I, I didn't I didn't quite expect that, but I surprisingly it worked a, it worked a lot because you got to really see the evolution of him go from like this the street kid to this super badass who can who can shoot um, who, can, who can shoot gadgets that are from uh, pens and uh, umbrellas and so forth. And by the way, those gadgets are awesome. I want those gadgets so badly. And the performances in this movie are really good too. I mean, the main kid, I thought he did a really good job. I I you know he was likable. He was funny. It was, you know, he's he's kind of what a Mark Miller character really is. If you've read his stories or you've seen the Mark Miller Mark Miller movies, but he 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 worked at he worked for this movie. I thought I I really dug his character, and he's rumored to play the young Cyclops, and I'd like to see him play Cyclops. I think he'd be a, he'd be a cool uh, he'd be a cool choice. Um, uh, Colin Firth was in this movie. He Colin, Colin Firth in this movie is awesome, and it's funny I mentioned this because. I always saw Colin Firth as the nice British dude in Love Actually and in Bridget Jones's Diary. But in this movie, he's a total badass. Like, he's he's kicking people's ass a bit at the same time he's being all polite about it because Kingsmen are meant to be kind of like gentlemen in this movie. And it's awesome. There's like this one scene where Colin Firth is like taking these guys out. There's no cuts or anything like that. He's just he's just killing all of these people in this room. And it's, it's awesome. You're just like, geez, I guess the nice guy actually does have some balls after all. That's awesome. Michael Caine was fine in the movie. Mark Strong was cool in the movie. Samuel L. Jackson plays the bad guy in this movie, and Samuel L. Jackson was hilarious because he's he talks with a lisp with a lisp the whole time. Yet he looks like Russell Simmons, you know, um, the hip hop uh, the hip hop mogul Russell Simmons. He looks and sounds exactly like him. It's it's pretty. It was uh, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Like he's doing these evil speeches in this weird lisp the whole time. Like he's saying things like "Mankind is the virus." And I am the cure, or whatever he says. It's um, it's it's goofy and it's dumb, but you can't help but laugh, laugh and enjoy it. It's it's awesome. The sh the show stealer of this movie is this chick. She's got these like 
these knives for knives for like legs and feet and so forth. She's just awesome. She jumps up in the air. She chops like dudes hands off with her feet. It's awesome. She, she reminds me of like one of those old school James Bond bad guys like uh, like Jaws. You remember how Jaws he had like um, he was a guy that had like razor razor metal sharp teeth and he would try to bite James Bond with it. He kind of remind me, she kind of reminded me of that that type of character. She was awesome. I loved her in this movie. There's any problems I do have with this movie is the fact that aside from the main kid and Colin Colin Firth the, and you know Mark Strong and Michael Caine, there's really like n you really don't really care about the rest of the Kingsmen. Like there's this chick that the main dude kind of becomes pals with, and you don't really care care about her or care about her enough to just be like, oh, I hope you survive. You know what I mean? Um, I just the same thing applies to all the other Kingsman recruits because he's got to go through all these like rec recruits, and I didn't really, I didn't really care about care about them as much as I as much as I needed to. But aside from that, Kingsman: The Secret Service is a fun movie. I had so much, I I had such a blast watching it. I laughed really hard. I enjoyed the violence. It was such, it was such a cool and fun movie, and it just shows Matthew Vaughn just doesn't know how to make bad movies. He just doesn't, you know. So. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to give Kingsman the Secret Service an A-. I really, really dug the movie. So, that's my thoughts on Kingsman. Uh, what are your thoughts on it if, you've if you have seen it or you plan to see it? And I'm going to ask you, what is your who's your favorite spy movie bad guy? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll ask that. Mine? Uh, I'm trying to think. Because uh, spy, spy movie bad guys are, are tough, you know what I mean? Uh, hmm. I probably have to say Doctor Evil and Austin Powers. I'm serious. I love I love Doctor Evil. He's awesome. But, um, but yeah, that's my that's my thoughts on Kingsman. So yeah.